Hello again, Todd Clemens, Okeechobee Livestock Market, and here's your weekly market report. We had 2,500 head of cattle this week, Monday and Tuesday, and prices stayed steady. I was a little bit surprised. I had anticipated, kind of thought, calf prices would be better. Fat cattle, dressed beef, all is back to where it was before the Tyson fire. And um, these packers are making a lot of money. At some point, you would think it would show back up in our local calf prices, but it hasn't done it yet. And there's not a very big range between dollar values between the four weight steers and the six weight steers, which really doesn't make a lot of sense either. Between 400 and 600 pound steers, there's only maybe less than $100 difference in the, in the actual value of those animals. And it should be better than that, it should be more. And it's hard for the ranchers, especially around here, to make a living at that price level. And we really do need to get these calf prices up so everybody can make a little bit, and not just the packer. He's making all of it, and we need to get our share of it back down here because we've got to, we gotta stay in business here in Florida in the cattle business. So back to the market report, um, calf prices were steady to probably a little bit lower after anticipation of a higher market. Slaughter prices were at best steady um, to a dollar or two lower. No improvement there at all either. Um, but we're still thinking that after October, weather change will, will be in place. Uh, the cooler weather will be here and there will be a greater demand for grazing cattle for wheat pastures and, and ryegrass pastures. So we're looking for some improvement. Hopefully it'll be, it'll be here soon. Can't be here soon enough though. Um, also you hear about fake meat. I'm tired of hearing about fake meat. I mean, right here in Okeechobee, you, McDonald's and Wendy's are offering these, these impossible, impossible to finish burgers or impossible to, to choke down burgers because, I mean, I don't know, if you want, if you want beef, eat beef why do you want something that's not beef that that t that tastes like it doesn't make sense but they're getting a lot of press and i don't know who's behind the movement of it but but demand for beef worldwide now is higher than it was 10 years ago there's a larger demand worldwide for beef more people have more money in their pocket and when they get more money in their pocket they want to change from eating rice to eating meat and so we're looking for exports to improve over to China, uh, over in the Asian markets, and that's gonna help us a lot. Well, under these kind of depressed calf prices and everybody's picking up their checks and wondering, you know, why did my calves bring this price? Well, we're all in the same boat. None of us like it, but there are things that as producers we can do to better ourselves and to help ourselves. Number one, if you've got if you've got calves that you're going to market, bull calves are bringing 10 cents less than steer calves. So castrate the bull calves. Number two, if they're horns, dehorn them. Take the horns off of them. Number three, not in this order, but critical is what kind of bull are you using to breed your cows? The, the highest prices we're seeing are Angus cross calves and Charlotte cross calves and solid red calves out of good um, good red Angus bulls or, or composite bulls like the Adams Ranch composite bulls. Those calves are all selling selling the best. So those are little things that you can do. You know, check your bulls, what kind of bulls are you using, castrate your bull calves, get on a health program. And that's another thing, the Okivac calves, I've heard the buyers say time and time again, this time of year, when, when the weather's changing, calves are getting sick out west because they're leaving 90 degree Florida weather and hitting that 40 degree drizzle, rain, miserable fall weather out west. They get sick and they have a problem living. So that's one thing why the calves are bringing what they are because of health conditions. So vaccinate your calves. Get on a good health program and try to ensure that when, when the buyer buys your calves, when he ships him out west, that they're, not, they're gonna be healthy and they're not gonna die. So those are simple things that we can all do to help ourselves. Uh, we had um, this week a high price calf was a 260 pound calf from BA Cattle, Bunnell, Florida, brought $2 a pound. And our high price cow of the week, we had two people 
uh, Cow Creek cattle of Okeechobee and the Seminole tribe both had a cow bring 57 cents. Uh, one of them weighed 1470 and the other one weighed 1605. 57 cents bought by FPL. That's your market report. Thank you.